If you're learning memory techniques, there's one thing you need to be able to do, and that is memorize a shuffle deck of cards. And so that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, maybe you have the general idea on how to do it, but I'm going to go through step by step on the process. So the first thing you have to do is create a system for the cards before you can actually even memorize a deck of cards. So this is how it works. So you have a deck of cards. You have to go through and create an image for each card or cards. But I want to keep it simple. So we're going to create an image per card. And this system is called the association system. So you go through the deck, you look at a card, and you try to think of an image that this card reminds you of. So the Queen of Hearts. I look at it, I'm like, Queen of Hearts? Hey, my mom. Hearts, love, that's why I think Queen, my mom. Okay? Then I go to the next card, King of Diamonds. Okay, King of Diamonds, Bill Gates. Diamonds, rich, king, like the top, right? Bill Gates is the wealthiest person in the world, so the King of Diamonds would be Bill Gates. So you do that for every single card in the deck. So at the end of it, you're going to have 52 images for 52 cards. Okay? So after you have your images, then you can actually memorize a deck of cards. But let me mention something real fast. To make the process a little bit easier, what you could do is you could create a category for all the different suits. And the suits are hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. So you have four different suits. You could create a category for each suit. For example, hearts, maybe hearts are people I love. Okay, makes sense, all right, hearts. Diamonds, maybe diamonds are rich people. So you get the idea. So that makes it a little bit easier because you know if you have a heart, instantly it's going to be someone you love. You have a diamond, instantly it's going to be a rich person. So that makes it a little bit easier for you to create your images. But now let's actually get to the memorization. So what you have to do is you have to create a memory palace with either 52 locations or 26. Now, 52 locations, that means you're going to place one card per location. Or if you have 26 locations, what you're going to do is you're going to place two cards per location okay but what makes it a little bit difficult when you have multiple images per location is that you have to make sure that the order of your images are completely straight because if you mix them around you'll get the wrong order for the deck of cards so you have to make sure if it was the queen of hearts so my mom and bill gates i have to make sure i see maybe my mom punching bill gates i have to picture that Make sure that story uh, comes in that order because when I go back and review it, I'm like, wait, I saw my mom. Yeah, she was punch of Bill Gates, Queen of Hearts, King of Diamonds. Okay? So after you have your memory palace with either 52 or 26 locations, I recommend staying at probably two cards per location, three or more. You start to get more, uh, you, have the you have a greater chance of actually confusing your images up. So after you have your memory palace, what you're going to do is you're going to walk through to whatever card you see. You're going to place that in the corresponding location. So since this is the first card, right, going to the first location. So I see my mom in the garage doing push-ups. Then the uh, second card goes, goes into the second location. Maybe that's uh, this like trash can pen. So I see Bill Gates eating out of the trash can. <laughs> and then I move on. And so I see my friend Kyle. Uh, the next location is maybe a tree. I see my friend Kyle dancing with a tree. And so you get the point right? I go through each location and place the image for the card in that location. Then to recall it, all you have to do is think of the, the palace you created and just walk through it. So I'm like, okay, time to recall the deck of cards. Whew. Say the garage was my first location. Oh yeah, I saw my mom doing push-ups. Mom, queen of hearts. Okay, then I went to the pen, the trash can pen, and I saw Bill Gates eating out of the trash can. Bill Gates, king of diamonds. Okay, so you see how cool it is, right? It's very simple. Uh, next location is the tree. Oh yeah, I saw my friend Kyle dancing with the tree, eight of clubs. And there you go, you, know, you just slowly go through. And in the beginning, it might be slow for you to actually memorize a deck of cards, right? But as you know your images a lot better, as you practice, you'll get faster and faster and faster. And so that's what you, <laughs> and so that's how you're able to memorize a deck of cards. No, it's not something completely different from what I'm teaching you, but what makes it a little bit um, harder, I guess, is that you have to create a system for all these cards. And then this is something you have to practice, you know. You don't want it to take you five hours just to look at the card and be like, oh, what's my image again? Oh, uh, no. You don't want it to take long. You want it to be instant. So be mom, Bill Gates, Kyle, right? You want it to be quickly so you're able to actually place them in the location faster and get that 
you know, memorization time under five minutes or a minute, or whatever goal you have for yourself. And I'll let you know now that once you memorize like your cards, it gets addicting because you're like, wait, can I memorize it faster next time? Can I do it faster than that? And so you get really excited and you just want to keep memorizing uh, decks of cards. Believe me, uh, when I memorized my first second, it took me 30 minutes because I didn't know what I was doing for the most part. So it took me 30 minutes to memorize my first second cards. From then, I was just hooked and it was just a lot of fun. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you're going to start memorizing second cards uh, because it's a lot of fun and it's a cool party trick, right? Just think about it. How many people you know, how many of them can actually memorize second cards? Answer, probably zero, right? So if you're able to do it, people are like, oh my god, this guy's a genius. He's so cool. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you start memorizing, me memorizing decks of cards, what your time is, because I'd be really interested to know, you know, how fast you got it on your first try. So yeah, look forward to my next video, and I'll see you then. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.